Beards have been rising in popularity for the last five or six decades. At this point, more people are exploring and experimenting with different beard styles, shapes, and sizes, looking for the right one for them. And that's something that we applaud here at Volt. We want all the men out there to feel awesome and be confident with their beard. Today we're going to explore the ins and outs of beard grooming to the fullest. You see, most men can grow some kind of beard or facial hairstyle with patience, persistence, and proper grooming. But not everyone knows where to start, what products they might need, or how to make the most of the beard they've got now, so that's where we come in. In this guide, we're going to answer the following questions. If you've asked any of these on your beard growing journey, then you're going to want to keep watching. How you should start growing a beard if you don't already have one, how you can choose the best products for your beard if you have one already, and how you can use those products in the most useful ways. If you guys haven't already, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. We are good to go. Now let's get into it. So let's talk about how you can grow a beard. Now growing a beard nowadays is quite the different venture than it was even just a decade ago. Now due to the increased popularity of facial hair in general, products exist on the market that make growing a beard even easier. Let's explore the steps to growing a beard that's right for you so you have an easier time starting. Just one thing to keep in mind when growing a beard is that patience is key and every man goes through the dreaded awkward beard phase at some point in their journey but with these tips you can kind of mitigate the awkward beard stage or just get rid of it completely. So let's dive into these tips. The first one is choosing a beard style. It's the first one you're gonna to want to start with because depending on your face shape, your beard style may change. The second one is gonna be dealing with the first month of beard growth. And the third one is going to be trimming and shaping. This is just the beginning of the entire process before we talk about the beard products you'll need to manage and maintain a beard. So now let's talk about choosing a beard style. This step is not actually as difficult as you may think, but actually it will make a huge difference in terms of the vision you have for your beard and making your beard look as good as possible from the get-go as you're growing it out. Now firstly, you're going to want to consider your face shape. Beards are magical in the way that they add masculinity and symmetry to a man's face. So you'll want to consider your face shape to find the best beard style and length for you. Check out my video on this, on this handy guide on how to find the best beard style for you. I'll add it to the link in the description as well as a tag up here somewhere if I can make that work. So once you've found your face shape and you have a good idea of your beard style and how to add that symmetry to your face, we are ready to move on to step number two, which is the first month of beard growth. The first month of growing your beard is going to be the toughest, it will likely be the itchiest, most uncomfortable part of your journey. This is for a few reasons, mainly because all the hair follicles are starting to grow out and push out the skin without being shaved like usual, and secondly because the hair as it grows can either curl back in on itself or poke the skin. Don't be afraid if your beard or face feels slightly itchy or irritated as this is pretty normal and that is something that we'll begin to work on later anyways when it comes to maintaining a beard with proper beard products. However, if it is too much to bear and you want to reduce the itchiness, the stiffness, the irritation or dryness that occurs, feel free to use some beard oil. As long as it's light beard oil, not thick beard oil, and it'll help kind of soften things up and reduce irritation, something like Volt's beard oil will do the trick. So the reason you want to grow the beard out for the first month without touching it, shaving it, or shaping it is because it'll give you a great idea of your beard's strength and weaknesses, as well as any areas there is little to no growth that you may have trouble with later on. Now this may alter the plan or change your mind on what beard style you want to try to rock, but leave it for a month and let the hair grow out so you'll know if there are any patchy or thin areas that can be easily concealable as the hair tends to get longer. Next is trimming and shaping. After the first month of growing out your facial hair, it's going to be time for the initial trim. There are two different ways to go about this short beard trims and long beard trim. Now, if you know you're going to keep your beard shorter, now we're talking maybe stubble territory to short medium length beards, roughly maybe up to one and a half inches or about 40 millimeters or so, then you're gonna have some work to do. The first thing you're gonna have to do is use an electric trimmer or shaver, preferably with adjustable guards, to trim the whole beard down to an even length that you're happy with. Next, you're going to want to trim the three beard lines that will make all the difference in shaping your beard. First being the neckline, the cheek line, and then the lip line. I also have a cool video on how to do that in the description. Now, if you want a longer beard, if after a month of growth you can see the potential in your beard and your plans don't change to have a longer beard, 
then you get a break when it comes to trimming. If you're planning a longer beard, you can avoid trimming your neckline because if you do, you won't really have the backing behind your beard to give it structure when it grows out down below your neck. However, you should still trim your cheek line at the very least. Reference the video I just talked about. Now here is a pro tip for you guys. Whether you're growing a short beard or medium beard, here's an awesome tip on how to avoid the awkward growth phase at any point in the process. This tip will elongate the growing time slightly but greatly reduce the disheveled look that kind of plagues the awkward growth phase that we all hate. All you have to do is trim the longer areas of your beard to match the shorter areas without trimming down those shorter areas. This effectively gives you an even beard growth look while still giving the shorter areas of the beard time to grow out further. Eventually you can trim less and less and the beard will grow without you having to look like a mess. Now let's talk about choosing the best products for your beard. Now, when it comes to choosing the best products, here's something to keep in mind. All beard products can usually be lumped into one of two categories with very few exceptions beard health products, and beard styling products. What you need is going to depend on your beard. Beard health products include things like beard oil, beard balm or beard butter, beard wash, and beard brushes. Beard styling products may include beard color, a beard and mustache wax, beard balm, beard combs. There are more, you know, of course, but these products make up probably 99% of the beard products out there. Let's first talk about beard health products like beard wash essentially the most basic ones that everyone should have. A beard wash is going to be absolutely necessary. Not only does it help strip excess oils and debris away from the beard, but it also primes the beard for hydration and conditioner like beard oil or beard balm. Check out Bolt's refillable beard wash for the best deal on quality beard wash out there. But beard wash should only be used up to three times a week. You don't want to use this stuff every day. And just to answer your question now, no, you should not use shampoo. Shampoos are designed for primary use on the scalp, which tends to be tougher and less sensitive than the skin on our faces, around our eyes, nose, and mouth. Beard wash is a gentler, more natural product than shampoos typically are, and don't strip away as many of the oils or contain harsh ingredients like shampoos do. Now let's talk about what is undoubtedly the most popular beard product out there, which is beard oils and beard balms. Almost everyone who has a beard should be using beard oil of some kind. If not beard oil, than another hydrating product like beard balm or beard butter. But ultimately there has to be some hydration, otherwise your beard will suffer. Hydrating products should be used every day. Beard balm tends to be a mixture of beard oils and butters like shea butter and mango butter, etc. Beard balm combines the hydration of beard oil with some light styling of beard wax. Now let's talk about beard brushes. You may be asking yourself why a beard brush is even necessary, if it's useful, how does it really contribute to the health of your beard, and here is how. A beard brush while not completely necessary is still a great addition because it digs through the beard to help exfoliate the skin underneath, which reduces flaking and evenly spreads the oils throughout the beard. A natural bore bristle brush is most effective and your beard will thank you for it. Now let's talk about beard styling products. Starting with beard color. Now let's be honest, I mean up until now most beard colors on the market used to suck. They'd be made of harsh chemicals like ammonia and PPD and they required mixing, gloves, not anymore. The newer safer beard colors out there don't stain the beard, they tint it. They use a color pigment that actually coats the hair uh, how you want it and how dark you want it to create the color and they are completely customizable. Meaning that if you have patches in certain areas, just brush the color on those areas to darken them up. If you have grays, brush the color on lightly for the salt and pepper look or heavily for the fully color look. It's up to you. Brush on temporary beard colors are just a safer, faster, more natural looking, more customizable alternative for styling a beard and filling patchy areas than the traditional beard dyes. Now let's talk about beard and mustache wax. Beard mustache wax is a thick styling product meant to help you really get your beard into shape. Ever see those crazy kind of handlebar mustaches or beard shape competitions? Wax does that. It provides little hydration benefits, but all styling and hold. Now let's move on to the next product, which is beard balm. You may have noticed that some of these products breach both of the lists mainly beard balm, and that's because beard balm, like I mentioned before, is a combination of hydrating beard oils and thicker butters and waxes that help you style your beard. It won't hold as strong as beard wax will, but it will make your beard feel better, softer, and provide a light styling hold. It's perfect for short to medium length beards, 
who don't need overkill or who want to avoid having two unique products like beard oil and beard wax. Now let's talk about beard combs as opposed to beard brushes. Beard combs don't really provide as much exfoliation or health benefits that beard brushes do. They do, however, help style and shape a beard when in conjunction with beard wax or beard balm. These combs help line up the beard hairs and reduce tangles or knots. Now, a beard comb should be made of wood to reduce and eliminate static and is perfect for medium to long beards that are prone to tangles and need serious styling products to keep flyaways from going crazy. But shorter beards can get away with a beard brush alone. Now, let's talk about how to use beard products to the fullest. Now, believe it or not, there is an order in which you should be using beard products to make the most of them. Let's go through our recommendations of the best beard products and the order in which you should use them based on the length of your beard. We're going to be going through three categories and that is from stubble to short beards or up to about an inch in total length, medium beards which is about one to three inches in length, and long beards which is three inches plus. Here's just what we recommend as the routine for each of these beard lengths. For stubble or short beard you're going to want to start with beard wash. Beard wash can be used on any beard out there or even if you have no beard because it's also a face wash and should be used three times at the most weekly. Now you're going to want to move on to beard Beard oil. You should use this every day. Two to four drops should be plenty of oil for a stubble to short beard. Next, you're going to want a beard brush for exfoliating and spreading those oils. You can use that daily every time after you use beard oil. And next, optionally, you can use beard balm. If you're on the longer side of that stubble to short beard, then use beard balm for longer lasting hydration and styling. And then optionally, obviously, the beard color to color grays if you happen to have grays or just fill patchy areas of your beard which you can also use daily as well. Now medium length beards, one to three inches in length. You're gonna to wanna to start off with beard wash just the same as before. And then you're gonna to want to move on to beard balm. Now this gives you the hydration and the styling benefit. If you have a medium length beard, styling benefits tend to really come in handy because that is when flyaways tend to become a lot more noticeable and out of control. You're going to want to pair that beard balm with the beard comb. This just eliminates the tangles and shapes the beard after you apply the balm. And then optionally, you can add beard wax after that to reduce the flyaways and just really lock your beard hair down tight. And last but not least, obviously, is the optional beard color for exactly the same reasons as before. Last but not least is the long beard or three inches and upward. You're gonna start with the beard wash, just like before. Then you're gonna move on to beard oil. Why? Well, because a longer beard tends to be so long that it's hard to get beard balm in all the nooks and crannies. So if you really want to keep your beard healthy and hydrated, you want beard oil, which is going to be easier to spread throughout. Then you use a beard comb while the oil is in there to eliminate the tangles and the knots. And then you use the beard balm. This is just for longer lasting hydration and the styling benefits. And then we would suggest just using the comb real quick again to make sure you get all the flyaways locked down after you apply the balm. And then you can optionally use beard wax if the balm isn't doing enough for you, or if your beard hair is too long, or you're trying to do some crazy style, maybe rock a handlebar mustache. And then after, obviously, is the optional beard color if you've got some grays you want to cover up. And by the way, our beard color is even safe to use on eyebrows if you wanted to do that, if you had gray in your eyebrows. But ultimately, that's it. By now, you should know what beard style to go for, the process when growing your beard out, the best beard products for you, and how to use those products in the right order to optimize each of them. And so you're not canceling them out by using beard oil and then beard wash and getting rid of all the oil or whatever. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, again, please hit like and subscribe. We've got tons of other men's grooming videos with a bunch of different creators coming out soon, as well as tons of discounts, deals, email specials, which we do all the time. So if you haven't yet, go on to voltgrooming.com and sign up so you can get our emails whenever we post a video or have a new discount or deal going. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.